Okay, this is Tom Mater from Mater Technologies. I'm going to tell you about the upgrade kit. So this is a standard Curry E-Zip Trails bike. As you can see, I showed you before uh, when it was in, this is the controller, stock controller. That is the lid. What you do is you take the, the four screws and remove them, remove the lid, and then you, you remove, clip all the little uh, tie straps, remove just unplug everything and that is the original you can see this is the the harness plus the controller now over here you see a new one that is the original this is the new one okay so I'm gonna show you how to install it so this one is the upgrade kit which I will actually make and sell you because I wish someone would have made one and sold it to me two years ago when I was first figuring this out so I'll show you. All you have to do is this here needs to connect to the switch. So these go to, I put it on this here, I put this on to right here. So you can see those are connected onto the switch. Now those two sides will allow the switch position one to engage. And then here, battery one and battery two. You put one on battery one, one on battery two. And the magic of this little thing is that it takes the two batteries and it wires them in series into 48 volts. So this will go to the, batter, the motor. And then last but not least, you have to connect this to the throttle. The throttle is this one. The house sensor, all you do is you plug it. See, you just don't even need any tools. You just plug it. So you plug that in. Now, this little guy here, if you zoom in a little bit, that, that screw there, you adjust the maximum speed. So if that's set to the maximum, you could go up as much as 32 miles an hour and applying 30, uh, 40, 48 volts to the motor, but you don't want to do that because the motor cannot handle that, and it'll burn up. I've tried it. But if you turn it to where it goes about 25 miles an hour, so you see here how this fits, right? And so you'll go and shove these all in and make it fit. Um, I'm not going to do that right now. You can take this little piece and you put it in here just so that, oops, make sure this doesn't disconnect. Make sure that's connected. You want to do this with the batteries not installed. You don't want anything to short out. it. So you see how this thing fits in here? goes all the way in. You can put this in here to uh, to block it, make sure it doesn't short out. You just go there. It's easier to do when you're not trying to rush for a little video, but put that in there, shove everything in, and I'll show you with the batteries. You can get all in there and um, it looks it looks like stock, but what's wonderful is when you put the batteries in, Flip it on really fast. And again, that little potentiometer, you can set the maximum speed. Around 25 miles an hour is pretty safe for the motor. That's, uh, and you will have what's like a little motorcycle. <laughs> Believe me, it's a lot of fun. So contact me, thomas.b.mater at gmail.com, and uh, I'll hook you up.